back to another episode of Select Start. I'm Jay. And I'm Dio. And we are continuing our Mario Plus Rabbits gameplay. I mean, I, I can't say enough good things about this. I really can't. And it really makes me hope that if there were to be a sequel to this game, I would really want Ubisoft to give it a try, you know? I, I'm encouraged by what I see here to say, you know what, let's make a new Mario RPG and let Ubisoft be the people that do it. They seem to have a, a good grasp on the characters, the world, and I, I would be a fan, that's for sure. I mean, simple enough right here. It We're only great. on the second combat stage, but it looks great. It plays great. Like, I would, I would totally be down for either a sequel to this or a sequel to Super Mario RPG. Made by Square, uh, Square by Ubisoft right now. It brought an XCOM strategy to the. Cool. Cut there. Stop there. Yeah. It's this guy to kill him off. Bounce Mario. Here we go! And you're gonna find certain characters to be your favorite. Like, it's impossible not to. Yeah, sure. Yeah, big. Uh, perfect Legend. example is gonna be a Rabid Luigi. His special ability, once you unlock it, is any character that he runs through, he does vampiric damage. <laughs> So he'll like drain their health. Oh, oh no! You son of a bitch! Free hit. Mario, one of his abilities once it's unlocked, is he could do the team jump, but then stomp on an enemy like he does in the games for like damage. Pretty cool. And we are done. <laughs> Battle cleared. <laughs> that fucking princess rabbit makes me laugh. Oh, she's one of the more popular ones. Because she's got, like, that stuck-up princess attitude. Like, you'll see, she's, she takes selfies with everything, including the bosses. And here's the thing. Between rounds, like right now we're at level 1-2, right? Yep. But you see how my health hasn't restored itself? So it carries over to the next fight. <laughs> so if you kill Mario, you have to change character? You would have to swap him out, or he, I think he would come back to life if you win the, win the match, but with like a really low amount of health. <laughs> Did you, ever, did you ever have to switch one over and then uh, resurrect them or something? Bring them back. Yeah. Well, here, I'll... With the press of a button, easy mode. Oh, okay. Everyone gets full health back mm -hmm. and a little bit extra health. So if it's for, if you're playing with a little kid, you could, you know, turn on that and restore the health for him so you get the full healing. It's little animations that does it for me. Yeah, uh, you know what? I 
think I'll go here just because I don't trust that rabbit. Like, I, I'm really bad judging, like, how far the enemies can move. So, I, I tend to play a little conservative. Damn it, he comboed me. You see the South Park starting on the 13th. Oh yeah? yeah? I don't know. The last season I wasn't too impressed with. I thought it was just okay. I don't know why. I don't know if I found that shit. You're like a whole turd sandwich and uh... Eh, I just didn't. I just didn't think it felt cohesive enough as a story. You know what I mean? Like, and, and nothing against South Park. I think they're brilliant, and a lot Member of the times that one week turnaround does them a ton of you know favors in terms of storytelling opportunities. That the Member Berries thing, they had the PC principal thing. Yeah, but that's a character. It's it wasn't a storyline. You know, like you were seeing with the turd sandwich and uh, and peace and uh, what and whatever. You know, like it just didn't feel like cohesive. Yeah. Oh, goddamn sons of bitches! Or is it just those? You have those little... Oh, you'll have a ton. Oh. You will definitely have a lot of weapons. But right now, it's still like the opening stages, so they haven't opened up the uh, equipment shop. Okay. It's still sort of forcing you to learn the, the basics. 50% chance I'll do it from here, so at least he's behind full cover. Damn it! Point blank in the face! Slow, one turn too too slow because of the cover that they were under. But the good thing is you could replay any of the levels at any point in time. That well, once time. the replayability opens up. with the Nintendo releases as of late. Like I said, it's the fifth month since Switch came out. Fifth month that I bought a game for it. I, I just am really, really impressed. I don't know how else to put it. I What's mean, the next big release? Is it Skyrim or is it... Uh... Well, for a lot of people, it's the new Pokken, uh, Pokken DX, uh, the Pokken Tournament game. Okay. Uh, here's an example of a puzzle you can't do yet. Eventually, you'll get the ability to push blocks. You can push that one out of the way and get to that chest. 
So, uh, like I was saying, it's the Pokemon fighting game that's coming out next, and that's going to be the next big release for a lot of people. I think that if memory serves Skyrim for uh, the Nintendo Switch is going to be coming out in October, I want to say? I could be wrong. And I for a, no I bought, I bought Skyrim several times. Yeah, fuck, another puzzle I can't do yet because I don't have the pushing ability. Um, I think the time for Skyrim has passed, and like to go to another generation. Well, here's the thing. I, I bought Skyrim originally, got the remastered edition of uh, the PC. I got um, Skyrim when it originally came out on the PS3. So I played it there. So. This would be the third time I bought Skyrim. And the main reason I would want it is because I want it on the go, on my Switch. But the thing is, I, if I'm being honest with myself, I cannot play through that game a, a fourth, fifth, sixth time, whatever amount it is, you know what I mean? Nope. It, it's so engrossing, it's so deep, that I just don't have it in me to do it anymore. Like. I would want it for the novelty of having it, more so than for actually playing it at this point. Or just have that special chest with the Master Sword? Yeah, with the Link Amiibo. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Speaking of, what do you think about all these Amiibo uh, support that they've been doing for all the games? I mean, even this has it. If you were to scan in in Mario, Peach, uh, Luigi and Yoshi Amiibo, okay. you would actually get uh, maybe better weapons is the wrong term, but you would get uh, stronger weapons for when you first start the game. How about the Zelda Amiibo? Like Link? I don't think it's supported in this game. Okay. I think it's just the basic mm -hmm. Mario characters. Should check online well, what's compatible with this game. Uh, there's an amiibo quote unquote hut oh, it tells that you go to, and it says scan in an amiibo, and it just has like Mario, Yoshi, Luigi, and uh, Peach as far as like shadows, like characters. So I don't think it would have any other support. Or something. Would it make sense? Hey. <laughs> Oops, damn it, wrong. But they've been throwing a lot of stuff out there with, for the Anil Sport. I mean, just thinking about, uh, for example, the new Metroid game that came out on the, uh, the DS, yeah. or 3DS, I should say. Uh, the Amiibos unlock the harder difficulty level, unlock uh, an alternate costume. Uh, I think it's the... Uh, uh, what's the... What's the pr not prime? Uh, the zero suit Samus. That's what I was thinking. Uh, the squishy uh, Metroid amiibo, which aside from looking cool, yeah, also awesome. also works as a as a HUD map, I guess. Something along those lines. Like you scan it in, and it tells you where the Metroids are in the level, so you could know where to head to actually kill them. I can't wait. That should look mm. up sight. Look, as far as I'm concerned, you're excited for a logo. <laughs> but that's not to dismiss Metroid Prime as a series. It's a good series. It is a great series. Have you played it? I played very little playing with you, but I, I'm willing to, to say and concede like that it influenced a lot of games. Mm. I mean, it took sort of like the golden eye concept, if you will, into a single-player yeah. campaign with the Metroid setting very well. Well, it's, it's an exploration game. You go around getting information about every creature, every plant, every mm -hmm. enemy, inside every stage, every planet. It's pretty cool. Prime series are great. I'm curious to see who it is that's going to end up being the developer for it. Because they haven't announced who's actually making the game. Hmm. I, I think it's going to All be... they've announced is that it's in the works, you know what I mean? I think it's going to be the same studio as before. Uh, what was it? It wasn't Screw Attack. Which 
Hmm? Oh, what was the name of the studio? Uh, I don't want to say Ninja Theory. That doesn't sound right. Yeah. <laughs> Havoc. No, Havoc was the cinema engine. Hmm. <laughs> it wasn't rare. <laughs> <laughs> so that's sort of how they get around the fact that you're blowing the rabbits up <laughs> is once you shoot them they end up back to normal and they decide to help build stuff back at the, the home base <laughs> so all of these are things that end up getting unlocked as uh, you progress through the game